Hey guys, what's up? Marcos Escobar here. I'm gonna be very quickly. Um, I wanna talk about something really curious that happens very often, especially when I talk to people that wants to merge into Jiu Jitsu class. Why don't people use Jiu Jitsu as a workout? Why do they think Jiu Jitsu only as a martial art, fighting style, a competitive sport? And how often you hear people say, oh, that's not for me, you know, I just wanna work uh, work out, lose weight, stay healthy. I just wanna, you know, feel in shape. I just wanna release stress from my work. How many times you hear that? And why not in jiu-jitsu classes? Let me tell you something. Jiu-jitsu would be the best way for you to do all of that in one single package. You don't wanna kill two birds with one stone. You're gonna be, kill like hundreds. Don't kill birds, by the way. So I hear people saying, oh, I start working out because I need to get in shape, but it's so boring, I hate lifting weights. Uh, I start running because I need to lose weight, but you know, I don't really like running. And when it rains, I don't go running, I have to go to the treadmill, it's so boring. So why? Have you ever tried Jiu Jitsu before? No, you should. You're gonna make friends, you're gonna lose weight, you're gonna build your fitness level, you're gonna build your self-confidence, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna feel more uh, secure of yourself, you're gonna feel happy. You, I mean, so many f benefits that I don't understand why people still insist in doing something that they don't like. If you like running, go for running. If you like swimming, go swimming. But, you know, if you haven't found your perfect sport, you should try Jiu Jitsu. And maybe that's a little bit of our fault, the coach's fault, because some coaches, they're still like, you know, very, uh, they're not so open-minded, let's put it this way. They see Jiu Jitsu as like, oh, I wanna build like a strong team, I wanna have world champions in my gym, I wanna have a great competitive team. You can have that, but it's much more than that. You should dedicate some time to take care of people. Let me tell you some numbers. Around the world, 3% of the Jiu Jitsu practitioners, they compete, okay? 3%, and I don't have these numbers like among the 3%, how many are professional fighters? Not sure though, but I assure you that's not the, the, the majority. So if 3% competes, the 97% left, what do they do? I'm sure they have fun, they feel great, and I'm pretty sure they have a lot of tough people that don't compete. If they do compete, they, they would do great. So you don't have to be a competitor. You can do jiu-jitsu just for fun. You can do jiu-jitsu just for well-being. And coaches, it's our job to make Brazilian jiu-jitsu reachable for everyone. Let's not leave anybody outside. Let's make it an inclusive sport, an inclusive activity. Let's give options. Let's make it simple. Let's try to accommodate different people in our classes. Don't focus only on competitors or maybe talented people. Let's focus on everybody. This will help people to meet and to experience their jiu-jitsu lifestyle. Something that we know very well, something that helped us along our journey and will help a lot of people in the future. So I hope this video helps you up to open up a little bit your mind and I hope to get more people practicing this amazing sport, this amazing martial art, and this amazing exercise. And I hope to see you soon next time. Us.